morning everybody so today my video is going to be on my favorite laser today i'll be doing the inferno so this is from wicked lasers this is um it's not my strongest laser but like it's definitely my favorite it is a 635 nanometer wavelength which is um it's a very bright red um not a lot of people see the difference between this and a typical red laser i see the difference super clearly some other people do too but definitely brighter Almost more of an orangish hue in my opinion, but this laser is absolutely amazing. The quality, um, the battery life, <clears throat> it's got a 100% unlimited duty cycle. I can keep this on the entire battery life without overheating and ruining the diode. Um, Wicked lasers are really cool too because um, they got a safety feature where um, you have to put in a passcode with the buttons to even get it to turn on. So, click the bottom and then... Get the little light flash in there and let you know that it's armed and ready for the passcode. So click, 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 hold, hold, wait three seconds, and it comes on in low power strobe mode. So you have one click to put in uh, the regular and then hold for a second and let go. It goes into high power. You can click it three times and it'll blink out the Morse code for SLS. One more click, we'll do a mode called beacon where it flashes every about five seconds or so, I'd say. Another click puts in the strobe, and then back to regular. So, I would honestly say the only thing that I'm not too, too impressed with this is that the only ways to shut it off are obviously hitting the tail cap, which will completely shut it off, and you have to put the passcode in again. Or, you can hold this button down for three seconds, and then it'll shut off, which would be a little bit nicer if you could just touch it once a turn it off and then touch it again to turn back on but you know there the other modes on are pretty cool the sos feature is actually on record to save a life before so actually two lives if i'm not mistaken which i think that's really cool another thing i love about this <clears throat> is that it has beam correction optics in it usually a 635 nanometer laser has terrible terrible divergence which means um like i said before the far the farther the beam goes out the wider it gets well you know on a typical 635 it would um it would get pretty large and diverge pretty terribly but again like I said this has beam correction optics in it which makes the beam a little bit thicker initially as it comes out but it keeps it thinner so the longer it goes and it doesn't per se give it great divergence like um a lot of my blue lasers I believe are uh, 1.5 mil radians and um this one's still three but I'm, if I'm not mistaken, a pretty typical divergence in milliradians for a 635 would be um, uh, 5 milliradians. So taking it down to 3 is really cool because um, I've actually seen some companies not even want to put the correction optics in because of the work it takes. But I'm sure it's nothing too, too hard, but it's really cool that Wicked Lasers did it. I love the beam on this. Um, it, do, it does get pretty large though, the further you go. If you have uh, people to be able to help you do some distance testing with them, you can tell it does get pretty big. It makes almost a box, but it's cool. I like it a lot. Wicked Lasers offers a beam expander, which I could uh, keep the beam very thin for like up to 10 kilometers, something like that. So um, definitely an attachment I would love to get. Wicked Lasers have a bunch of attachments for them, actually. Um, I have one of the standard lens kits. Um, it's pretty cool. I'll show you a focusing lens with this, but... Um, they have a laser saber attachment, which is really cool. It makes your uh, laser look kind of like a lightsaber. I would love to get that. They've just been out of stock on the uh, website for a while. Um, <clears throat> the website says these are indestructible. I mean, I'm sure if you took a sledgehammer to it, you'd probably easily break this laser. But as far as, you know, dropping it or rolling off a table, something like that, it's happened with my Wicked lasers before. I mean, it never, I've never even got a scratch on them. Um... They're water resistant. Obviously, you couldn't uh, submerge it, but you can take them out in the rain, the snow, and play with them. Um, like I said, I love that duty cycle on it. 100% unlimited. Not even getting the slightest bit warm. Oh, and by the way, too, this tops out at 829 milliwatts. So, almost a watt. And, in my opinion, that's awesome to have an unlimited duty cycle with that. These three lights are actually a battery indicator, too. Which is cool. One of my Wicked Lasers on my Arctic, it actually just has a power level... Uh, thing on there which it has more power modes than my inferno does so it kind of makes sense for that one to have it but i love having the actual battery indicator on here um the battery life on this thing is absolutely amazing i think my inferno has the best battery life out of all my lasers which 
I, mean, I absolutely love that. Um, it's really cool too. I love the beam on this. Um, going outside at night, um, it, you know, in the laser world, pretty common seeing green laser beams in the sky. Green is very visible to our eyes, the most visible wavelength actually. And, um, and then, you know, in my opinion, blue lasers are kind of coming around more. And, um, they, though, I, all laser beams look cool in the sky, honestly, but it's just, I love seeing a red one. Because, <clears throat> you know, growing up, you never see any kind of red laser besides little cat toys and stuff on pens and things like that. And then, you know, just to get a red laser with a beam this thick and bright, and especially being able to point out stars in the sky with this, just absolutely amazing. Now, what I want to show is, um, because of those beam correction optics, it does take away a lot from the burning ability. Um, the wider a beam is, the less uh, ability it has to burn things. So that's why um, when you focus, it makes a real thin point. That thin part is actually really dense and uh, you know, it helps burn a lot. So 829 milliwatts for you know, a decently focused beam, that would um, you know, give you really good burning power. So, you know, it's not even really smoking. But, I'll disarm this real quick. I'm gonna put the focusing lens on. This is really cool. Um, actually, when I ordered this Inferno, Wicked Lasers um, is right before they were gonna stop shipping to the United States. And so I got an email saying they're gonna do that. They made all their lasers 40% off. So um. Grab this baby. It was a really, really great price for a 635 nanometer. Um, couldn't beat it. So when I ordered it, the website asked me six extremely basic safety questions as far as like, is it like, would you ever shine a laser in an airplane? So basic uh, common sense questions, answered all those. And they sent me this uh, lens kit for free with a bunch of cool effects. I'll do another video with them, all the effects of them. But I was really happy they sent me that with the Inferno because, um, with this, the focusing lens, <clears throat> see it makes the, the initial dot really, really big, but gives you that nice, real thin part in the beam right there. And that right there is what we like for burning. So, everybody, that's my Inferno. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is my absolute favorite laser. Um, not a lot of people understand why. It doesn't go very far. Well, it goes about 10 miles, but compared to some of my other ones, um, you know, needs a focusing lens to burn, but it's, you know, different reasons, man. I love this thing. I love the beam correction optics. Like I said, I love seeing a red laser beam in the sky. Um, I love the duty cycle on it. All of Wicked Lasers are supposed to be unlimited duty cycles. My Arctic, it still does get warm after leaving it on for a while. This Inferno never even gets the slightest bit warm. Um, I don't know. In my opinion, it's just my best quality laser. I absolutely love this thing. I would never get rid of it. I, I don't think I'd ever sell any of my lasers, at least not for a while, but this is definitely my favorite right now until I get my 589 nanometer yellow laser. But that's for another day. Again, hope you all enjoyed this video and hope you have a great day today. Thank you guys. Bye.